Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all, my people. Two days ago, we received uh, this uh, shocking news about um, the President General of Organizing Digbo, Chief George Obiozo's death and all that. So many people, they talk. Some say, you know, do well when they are alive. Some say, not them, help destroy, you know, Southeast. So, can okay, even they put smart, they talk about this Mazen Nam, they cannot issue. Say, I seem be organized president. Say, they not really pursue President Muhammad Buhari well. But, well, we don't have to judge the dead. So, the people will remain now. It's not left for them. To do the needful and uh, if you see him the man don't still would 80 years too <laughs> he don't he don't try for himself for years see i'd always they talk this thing the only thing the only legacy you keep why you you have gone is those good things you did here yeah. because when you don't come out now those things could speak for you do the needful. Always say the truth. This truth go even they pave way for your your generations to come. I tell people, whether you say the truth, you will die. You 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 cover the truth. You lie. You go die. So why not choose the other one? The truth. Then talking about doing good. This place when we day be like market. As people they hustle, they come. People they hustle, they go. Now, so this life be. Do good. Try to put smile on people's faces. Be that kind of person. When when people close eye, they remember you. They will smile. Be that kind of person. These are the things that speak for you. You can see what is going on today in this country. If one of these leaders come make sure come come happen say something happened to them, you see, waiting people they talk about themselves, don't push them, go have fire <laughs> before they even reach where then they go. So it's good to, to do good. Stay in the right path. Like as I said, I am not in the position to judge the dead. You understand? But now, wait till we get here, the news. When we get here now, Simeon Ikba, and I know Simeon Ikba now, the self acclaimed disciple of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, he's just a boy. He's a boy. He said, This man not try. You can't even they warn, you know, some Igbo leaders when they are alive now. Say, may them take example, may them learn from uh, Chief George Obiozo if they are opportune to be there. To do the right thing. So make we hit the news and really get what he said concerning this man. But before then, guys, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Obvious on worst thing to happen to Indigo. Canon self confessed disciple Simeon Ekba declares. Simeon Ekba, the self acclaimed disciple of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Arpop Nnamdi Kano, on Thursday, described the late President General of the Igbo Social Cultural Organization, organizing Igbo, George Obiozo, as the worst thing that happened to the people of the Southeast. The Imo State Governor Hope Uzadema confirmed the death of Obiozo, who became the President General of Oranese in January 2021 in a statement on Wednesday night. Ikman, who, dis who reacted to the news of the former Nigerian ambassador to the United States dead on Twitter, said his passing would serve as a lesson to opponents of the separatist agitation in the Southeast. He wrote, Njoko, he was calling for the head of Njoko a few days ago, just because Njoko is fighting for the freedom of his people. Why he is sabotaging 
it with a fake presidency. While he was the president of Organese, Igbo youth were slaughtered in thousands. Obiozo will be remembered as one of the worst things that happened to Ndibo before Biafra existed Nigeria. Exited Nigeria. Today, where is he? This must serve as a lesson to the remaining ones who are planning against Biafra next year. Ikpa came under fire for declaring a five-day sitter tomb in the southeast a few weeks ago, with many demanding his extradition to Nigeria to face criminal charges. Okay, guys, Nigerians have reacted to this. Let's hear them out. Someone said, This IPOB issue is gradually destroying southeast too. Look at the way human beings are talking. Obiozo died not less than 80 years, which you are not sure of 60 years. Useless people. This one reply to that comment. Ikma said, what Ikma said is the truth. And nobody is mocking Obiozo, but to tell others that when you are doing evil and you think you can get away with it, but no no, unless you repent and do good. Obiozo was a sub, was sab, sabotaging Biafra restoration project. George Obiozo was a was a bad man. George Obiozo was a bad man. My question to him: That place he is lying. What about the money the zone called Nigeria is giving him? Vanity upon vanity. He is a wayright. Instigating you to home to be against the government. Hmm. Some humans are just too, just shallow minded and do not think for themselves. You will still die one day and many and may not reach Obiozo's age. Terrorist in Finland receiving, deceiving, brainwashing people in your state, Eboini. Call one person that has respect Obiozo has in the world. All of them that is against Biafra must surely die, rest in hell. Okay, guys, you see that the reactions are getting tough. These are some reactions by Nigerians concerning this, what Simeon Ekma said about the late chief Obiozo, the, the president general of Organese, the former president general of Organese Ndibu. So guys, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.